Second part of lesson 17. Remember, we are solving key. Solve problems using system of equations. So we have solved problems. Number one, the sum of two numbers is 27. One number is three more than the other number, which we don't know. Write and solve a system of equations to find the two numbers. So in this case, I'm going to say, uh, let x be one number. And uh, y, the other number. So what we're going to do, for example, the first one, the sum of two numbers, that means x plus y equals to 27. Okay, that's the addition of two numbers equals to 27. The second equation will be one number is three more than the other number. So I'm going to say one number is equals to three more than the other number. Okay, that's the second equation. So we're going to apply substitution. You can see x is already solved. So I'm going to have y plus 3 plus y equals to 27 so y plus y is 2 y plus 3 equals to 27 then minus 3 minus 3 so we have 2 y equals to 24 then we divide by 2 so y is equals to 12 so the first number is 12 the second one x plus um, y equals to 27 so we know that y is 12, so x is equals to 12 equals to x plus 12 equals to 27, and then 27 minus 12 is equals to 15. So x is equals to 15. We can know it from here, so we can just do 12 plus 3 equals 15. We can get it. It's easier. I was just like following uh, the instructions. So in this case, solution, the numbers are Twelve and fifteen. Problem number two. I have Roberta has four dollars in dimes and quarters. She has five more dimes than quarters. Write a system of equations that you could use to find how many dimes and quarters she has. So in this case, I'm going to have the first equation. So the dimes is equal to quarters plus five, and I have ten d plus 25 quarters is equals to 400 okay so in this case my solution uh, those are the questions okay. Roberta has four dollars in dimes and quarters she has five more dimes than quarter this one right is this some of the questions that could use to find dimes okay number three Use the system of equations you wrote in problem number two to find how many dimes and quarters Roberta has. So in this case, if you solve this system of equations, I'm going to do it here. So I have 10, and then d is q plus 5, okay, plus 25q equals to 400. Then 10 times q is 10q plus 50 plus 25q equals to 400. If we simplify, we end up with 35q equals to 400 minus 50 is 350. And then if we divide by 35, we have that q is equals to 10. Now I need to find dimes. So here, d is equals to q plus 5. So q is 10. 10 plus 5 equals 15 this is equals to dimes. So in this case, the correct answer is C, 15 dimes and 10 quarters. Now, if you ask, where's this 10 and 25 is coming from? So in this case, remember that a dime is 10 cents, 0 0.10. A quarter is 0.25. So to get those decimals numbers away, we need to multiply both sides of the equations by a number that is going to eliminate that decimal. So in this case, I did it by 100. So it will ha give me 10, 25, and 400. So those decimal numbers are going, going away, and we can solve easily that equation without the promise of decimals. So let's move to 192. So problem number four, I already solved, uh, I already graphed this one here, okay? 
So this is the graph that you have out of these points. So what I did is just plug in those points. And as you can see, the lines are parallel. That means there is no solution. With this information, I can go over and answer the question. Look at these points. I already solved it. So in this case, I'm going to have lines A and B intersect each other. They are parallel lines, so there is no way they are going to intersect each other. Lines A and B have different slopes. Now, in that case, if you have parallel lines, the slopes are the same. So this is also false. C, lines A and B have different y-intercepts. Have different y-intercepts. That one is true because one is 0, 1, and the other is 0 and 4. This one is true. And finally, it says line A and B, and B are parallel. That one is also true. Problem number five. The Parks and Recreation Department in your town offers a season pass of $150. With the season pass, you pay $5 per session to use the town's tennis court. Without the season pass, you pay $15 per session to use the tennis court. Part A. Write a system of equations to represent the situation. So in this case, I'm going to let S equals to the number of sessions. Oops, here. Number of sessions and C is the total cost. So my equations will be C equals to 5S plus 150 and then I have that C is equals to 15S. Part B. Graph your system of equations. How many times do you need to use the tennis court for the system to pass to save money? Explain. So we need to graph. So in this case, I'm going to graph. The first one, remember it started 150 and I'm going to just approximate that graph because they are big numbers. So I go five units up and one to the right. So I'm going to say I go this point here and I'm going to graph it. So I'm going to have this graph. And then I have the second equation. In this case, the second one, it got 15s, no y intercept. That means it start at zero. And I'm going to say they're going to intersect at this point. Okay. It's like going 15 then to the right one, and then you from there graph. So I'm going to intersect these two here. Now, where they intersect at 225, and I'm going to say round 16. Okay. We can use Desmos to prove it. Okay. If uh, we use Desmos, we will figure out that this point is at 15. Okay, this point here crosses at 15, so we can answer, okay, so in this case, I'm going to say 16 times, okay, because the question is, graph your system of equations, how many times do you need to use the tennis court for the system pass to save money? So the answer is 15, so to start saving money, you need to use that 16 times, so in this case, playing. tennis 15 times will cost you the same. So in this case is 225 with or without the season pass. So playing 16 times will cost you 230 dollars with the pass and 240 dollars without.
Remember that those are values that we can uh, find and make the substitution in the equation. But because of the space and time, we are going to do so. I'm just going to leave it there. That's uh, lesson 17, part two. Hope you have a wonderful evening.